uh, this, this whole switch affect you and, and your plans? Uh, well, actually, as a fighter, you always have you have the mindset to always be prepared for the unpreparable. So everything. You always know that something is going to happen during training camp. Somebody get injured, opponent or you, or like this, the last week, they switch the, the show to another city. So when it came, we were like, we were just waiting, like something is going to happen, you know. And then we heard it, it's like, oh, come on. So it's, you know, the mindset is you just got to be ready and, and refocus, you know. Either we fight in, in Vegas or uh, LA or on the moon, it doesn't matter. The fight is, is a fight. How do you feel about about that, about Dave showing this, doing this switch so close to the fight and, you know, all the all of these ramifications to your purse, to, to, you know, because of taxes, friends and family having to reschedule five uh, flights? I think the UFC did what they could uh, in, in that short moment to, to resolve the, the the situation for for the event and the fighters and it's not easy you know uh, we're all losing money but either better lose a little bit money than to not fight at all and reschedule the fight so i mean people put three four months of training camp expensive so uh, i think the ufc did what they could to, to solve the situation what, what have you seen with alex behind the scenes what's his mindset been like and how he's acting what, what, how do you think he's taking it uh, alex is uh, He's mentally very, very uh, stable and, and prepared for this situation, you know. Uh, this thing happened, uh, didn't really come as a surprise, I think, for him, because uh, I, he, in a way, felt that something is going to happen, you know. And, um, you know, it's it's sad, but uh, he's, re he's focused and, and he's on a mission, you know, on Saturday. What's your role been? I mean, have you... Obviously, you're in the same boat that he is, but have you been trying to support him and help him? I mean, because he's... You know, we're, we're mentally bo both preparing for a fight, so uh, we just refocused and, and took it for what it was, you know. There's nothing that you can do about Like I said, you know, it doesn't matter when, where, where you fight. You just have to be ready and, and do it. Do you buy the, the whole John's explanation, what, what you said, said? Do you believe it? Uh, I mean, it's, I'm not an expert in this area or uh, in, in any way like really really study the, the the science about it but uh, uh, i think like if you have something in your body it's not right uh, we're all trying to do the best to 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 fight clean doesn't matter if it's old thing or new thing if you're positive you're positive micro micro pico or whatever it's called uh, i don't think it's right because um, in Sweden, we're tested very hard, and we are all the time looking to to be very careful. You know, whatever supplement or every uh, we take. So, uh, I think uh, it's not it's not okay. You think uh, the UFC and Usada are giving him special uh, benefits because of who he is? Uh, I cannot say about if they're giving him special uh, treatment for wh who he is. Um, is he a big fighter? Is he a favorite? Yes. So. Does it happen that people get a little bit uh, break? That happens, but in this situation, I'm not the person to 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 say this is the fact. I think with time, everything will show, because uh, uh, I don't think it's the end here. I think peop uh, people and experts around the world will take a closer look in this case and see how it really is. You know, because um, in a way, some it has it, it it's either you're innocent or you're not. You know, so. Uh, it can't be something in, in, in between, you know. And that way, then you have to change the system. Do you have trust for USADA, though? Like when they come and test you and then you give you, them you, your urine, you have no control over it after that. Do you, do you trust them? Um, the way I work with USADA until today has worked very well. Um, I can't complain of the way of the testing and, and the communi you know, communication with them. But wherever there is... Uh, uh, where is the, not only technical stuff involved, but where humans involved, there's always a way to, to uh, that people can uh, manipulate uh, the test. So I'm not saying this is the case of that, but wherever there is other people involved and you're not there seeing what's happening, there's always a risk to, to things to happen. So. You, you mentioned having to be very careful, and it does seem like tainted supplements are often sort of the excuse that, that fighters use. Do you, do you feel like we're a little too lenient on people who aren't careful enough to make sure? 
it's hard to say, you know. It's not easy, you know, as, as fighters today either, you know, you have to... Not all fighters maybe have the, the understanding and knowledge about nutrition and supplements. So, And even if you have, it's very easy to make one mistake, you know, sometimes. But one mistake is one mistake. But when you do two or three or four, or some substance, substances are not a mistake. So it's hard to say, you know. Did your, uh, your family have uh, hotel rooms uh, in Vegas that they booked? Were they able to get the money, the money back for those rooms? Uh, I had some friends coming to Vegas, and uh, actually they're not getting their, their money back for the hotel. So, But uh, they're coming here. Uh, you know, it's an it's important day for us on Saturday, and, and for them too, you know. So... Uh, you know, we have a lot of relatives flying all the way from Sweden. How much money did they lose? Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> you mentioned before in Swedish that you felt that Corey Anderson maybe doesn't get the respect that he deserves uh, in the UFC. He's right now ranked at number 10 in the division. If you had, if you could decide where, would you rank him? Uh, it's not about decide. I, I think, like, the top 10, everybody ha is, is a... Everybody in the, in, in the UFC is a great fighter, you know? And the top 10, everybody can can beat anybody also so I think Corey is uh, one of those fighters that uh, that uh, has done very very well but you know he fought some fights and and he made some losses against guys that that was winning but but he made a mistake you know and uh, he's a tough opponent